Welcome to 3.1's Math Moment. Today in sixth grade, students learn how to review place value and multi-digit division. The first problem we have is 12,456 divided by 14. I'm going to go ahead and set up this problem. I have 12,456 divided by 14. Make sure that when your students setting up this problem, they give themselves ample room to solve this because a lot of students don't know their 14s or their 56s or their 83s. They need to be able to have lots of room to show their work. So the very first thing we're going to think is we're going to think, can 14 go into 1? It cannot. Can 14 go into 12? 14 is bigger than 12, so it cannot. Can 14 go into 124? It can. One of the things I like to think about is a guess and check spot. I know 14 times 1 is 14. I know 14 times 10 is an extended fact. It's 140. I kind of want to think 124. Is that closer to 140 or closer to 14? I know it's closer to 140, so I'm going to pick a number that's larger. I'm not going to pick 2 or 3. I'm going to jump up to probably the 7s, the 8s, the 9s. So I'm going to take 14 times 8. It's a pretty good spot to start checking with. So I'm going to take 14 times 8. 14 times 8 is 32. Put my 2 down, carry my 3. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 3 more is 11. Okay, that is pretty close to 124, but just to confirm it can't go in there one more time, I'm going to write 14 times 9. I know 14 times 9 is 36. I have 1 times 9 is 9, plus 2 more is 12, so I have 126. Looking at this, this one is slightly over, so I need to use my 8. 8 goes on top of my 4. 8 times 14 is 112. I'm going to go ahead and subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 0, or excuse me, 1 minus 1 is 0. I need to go ahead and bring down my 5. So I need to think, can 14 go into 125? This is where it becomes really important for sixth graders to keep their work on their paper so they can go back and reference it and not take 14 times 8 again or take 14 times 9 again if they've already done the work. Well, I can see 14 times 9 is just a little bit over, so I need to use 8 again. 14 times 8 is going to be 112 again. When I subtract, I have 5 minus 2, which is 3. 2 minus 1 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. Go ahead and bring down my 6. I think, can 14 go into 136? Well, I know from these facts over here that it can go in there nine times. I'm going to put a nine on top of my six. Nine times 14 is 126, which I got from my facts over here. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract. Six minus six is zero. Three minus two is one. One minus one is zero. I have a remainder of 10. In fifth, or excuse me, in sixth grade, what students are going to do, and in fifth grade, they're going to go ahead and write this as a couple of ways. One way the students are really familiar with is R10, which means remainder 10. But as we get a progression to going into upper fifth grade and then also into sixth grade, we like to see students write the remainder as a fraction. And the way they can do that is just taking their remainder, which is here, making it the numerator of their fraction, and then making their denominator their divisor. So our answer is 188 10 fourteenths. Students also worked with word problems today. Example number two says, there are 21 members of the Smith family that attended a family reunion. The total cost for the reunion was $1,176. Each member will share the price equally. How much does each person share? Okay, now that I read the problem one time, I'm gonna go back and look for keywords. The 21 members of the Smith family, so I'm going to need that 21, and the total cost was 1176 Each member is going to share the price equally, which I know share is a keyword for division. Okay, to set up this problem, what students are going to do is they're going to take 1176 divided by 21. Can 21 go into 1? It cannot. Can 21 go into 11? It cannot. Can 21 go into 117? It can, but I need to figure out how many times. I always think 21 times 1 is 21, and I always think 21 times 10 is 210. So I need to think my 117 is a lot more than 21. It is quite a bit less than 210, so I'm going to kind of go in the middle here to, for a guess and check. I'm going to take 21 times 5 to kind of start me off to see where I'm going to be. I know 1 times 5 is 5, and 2 times 5 is 10. 
and that gives me 105. That feels pretty close, but just to confirm, I'm going to go one up just to make sure. Notice again, I'm not erasing my work because I want to make sure that I have it in case I need it. I have 126, which goes over. So I know I'm going to use 5. 5 times 21 is 105. I need to go ahead and subtract. 7 minus uh, 5 is 2, 1 minus uh, 0 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. Go ahead and bring down my 6. Get 21 go into 126. Well, it's a good thing I didn't erase because I've already figured that out over here with 6. All right, my 6 over here. 6 times 21 is 126 with nothing left over. So I'm going to go back and add my dollar sign. How much does each person share for the family reunion? It's $56. If you have any questions, see your math teacher.